Tanama was born into an ancient aristocratic family by a samurai. His father was an advisor to the emperor, and both played leading roles in the Japanese military elite. It was 1901 the war was about to break out. Tanama was appointed Japan's military attaché in the Russian Empire. Of course, the Russian special services tried to recruit a new attaché, a beautiful woman was used for this. Tanama lived according to the laws of the genre, with a stone face he lost his fortune at the gambling table, and after that he invited everyone present to the party, where he spent even more money. He had a lot of sexual relationships, but the gendarmerie agent announced that she was pregnant, and proudly refused the generous ransom offer. An experienced scout understood everything, and after a sleepless night, he paid a visit to his colleague and opponent. The cards were revealed. The code of honor did not leave a chance the agent was selected from a famous family, so the samurai had to commit seppuku, faithful to the code of honor. The gendarmerie, to its great surprise, did not meet with much resistance. The military attaché agreed to cooperate, and provided top-secret materials. Then he left, but continued to send data. The counterintelligence service analyzed the situation, placed the data in the archive, trying to calculate what the Japanese intelligence was trying to impose. They did not believe in Tanama's sincerity, considering the data to be disinformation. In 1903, Tanama was shot in Tokyo, for treason. His father ripped open his stomach in public. All this radically changed the attitude of the gendarmerie towards Tanama's reports. The troops began to move in the directions where the Japanese forces were supposed to strike. In fact, it was all a game invented by Tanama himself. The Japanese calculated everything perfectly. As soon as Russia began the redeployment of forces, they struck from the direction of Port Arthur, and using their knowledge of the vectors of redeployment, they won the battle. Then another. And further. Everything according to the canons of the art of war. Perfect operation. Tanama was able to predict the beginning of the redeployment, initiating with his own shooting. He knew the direction of the troops, having planted misinformation. I admire the patriotism of these people who donated not only their lives, but also honor. Both died as traitors, and the people around them, not knowing about the virtuoso combination, really despised them. Only after the victory of Japan were their cases declassified. Both of them endowed with all possible honors, posthumously. I have no words, only a sense of admiration. Tanama reminded me of David, who hit Goliath with one well-aimed shot. His chess game is flawless. It is believed that it was this defeat that initiated a series of events that ended with the collapse of the entire Russian Empire. Father and son, with their sacrifice, were able to shake the foundations of one of the strongest empires of that time. I don't remember many examples of this intensity of love for the homeland. In my understanding, father and son are the standard of the Japanese martial spirit. It was their example that inspired thousands of young people half a century later, joining the kamikaze units. Blessed is every country where people with such patriotism and strategic thinking are born.